The newest version of Cursor has got an interesting feature that finally allows Cursor to directly use a browser to test the app that you're building and now Cursor can autonomously do things for you, right? So normally after you ask Cursor to build some kind of feature, after that you will have to manually open a web browser and click around and make sure that everything works right. Or again, if you want to do some kind of debugging task, you will have to do it manually. But all thanks to the direct browser feature or the integration right within Cursor, as soon as you enable browser and give a prompt, Cursor itself will spin up a new browser and do whatever stuff that you ask to all by itself. And today in this video, I'll show you exactly how. So as you can see, here I have opened up Cursor and I just went ahead and gave a simple prompt just as to demonstrate how this feature works. So I asked it to create a simple calculator app where users can enter two numbers in an input box, select an operation and upon clicking a button, it should show the result. So that is the app that I asked Cursor to build. And this right here is the app that Cursor has built. And I know this is a very simple and basic app and the whole intention is to just as to uh, let you guys know how this whole new feature work. So the user can enter a number in here, select the operation and then some other number and click on calculate and there you go. The result will be shown in here. And now watch this. So I'll refresh. I mean, yeah, the cursor is not going to use this interface anyways. So if you head over to cursor and by the way, make sure you are updated to the latest version of cursor. And right now, as you can see here, we have a new option called as browser and it says enables computer use. And just in case, if you can't find this in here, just click on settings. And after that, click on this option that says beta and you should be able to find the browser uh, section in here. So as you can see here, we have cursor browser, enable cursor browser in agent window. So make sure this option is enabled. And once you enable that feature in the input box, as you can see here, we can find the browser option. So maybe I'll open a new chat and now all I got to do is to click on the same to enable it. And now watch this. I can ask cursor to do anything and it will itself spin up a new browser instance, load the website and do anything for you. So in this case, I'll say, so could you please use the calculator and enter some numbers and select an operation and do some random, uh, you know, calculations just as to make sure that everything works and browser is enabled. And now I'll click on the send button and watch this. Okay. So we are using plot 4.5 sonnet by the way. And now it is going to first check the application to see the calculator interface. And now as you can see, cursor itself has opened up a browser and it completely hands free, right? So you can also find all the thinking process right here. And now cursor has entered the number 15, then second number as 27. And now it will click the calculate button. There you go. And now it will verify the result that it has generated. And next up, it will analyze the result and see if everything works. Now it has set the operation as subtraction. Okay. All right. So let's see. So as you can see, now the first number is set as 100 operation subtraction and second number as 45. And now, okay. It has done that as well. All right. And now it is going to test multiplication. So it has actually changed the operation to multiplication. First number is set as eight and seven okay there you go so as you can see cursor itself is automatically doing everything and now just as to show you how the something like this can help in real time i'll intentionally ask the ai to make this calculator flawed that means it will it won't show the right answer okay so i'll say can you please modify the calculator that we have uh, to show incorrect answers so every time the user uses the calculator it has to deliver wrong answers so now maybe i can close this browser and Right now, if I, let's say, enter a random number like five plus five, it should show 10, right? But now, as you can see, it shows 28. Now what I'll do is, can you please directly use the calculator app that we have to make sure that everything works? So spin up a new browser and just uh, do some random calculations to make sure everything works. And now I'll enable browser and I'll click on send and let's see. Maybe I can close these ones. Okay, let's see. Okay, so, all right, so the AI has actually found out the code, like the intentional error that we actually added. In which case, let's see. Okay, so it has opened up the app and now it will try to use the app. All right, okay, so first number 10, addition 5, that is the second number. 
and it will click calculate and there you go the result is being shown as 31 so the thing is that cursor is able to see everything that is happening within the screen right now just as to show you how this work i shown a simple app so in your case you could be building like a complex app and you want to test some functionality like the navigation bars or let's say you want to make sure that all the links work or there are some ui inconsistencies or something like that you can just ask cursor to spin up a browser instance and check it for itself so it can actually spin up the browser do all the stuff and it, it can actually find the errors if any and then properly fix it so that is one big advantage so as you can see the our app that is the calculator is providing wrong answers only and now it will I, I believe cursor will try all the operations and after that so there you go it says capture screenshot it will now find the issue with our app then and it will automatically fix it as well okay there you go as you can see it says i've completed comprehensive testing of the calculator app and i found critical bugs in all mathematical operations root cause okay it has actually found the issue yes so i'm asking cursor to fix it okay so it will now fix everything and pretty much everything will start to work let's see all right so it then went ahead and opened up the browser again and right now it has made all the changes and now it is trying to enter the number so there you go everything pretty much works so this is what i wanted to show you in today's video so basically cursor now has the option for using your app as you would use it so it will automatically spin up a new browser instance and interact with all the form elements or let's say all the elements within your page and now it can do testings to make sure everything works and again if you don't find this browser option uh, in the beta section of your uh, cursor app well all you gotta do is to make sure that you have updated to the latest version and once you have the latest version of cursor you can enable cursor browser and start using it i know that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in today's video so i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one